Joe and Nancy, welcome to this moment in your lives and to this place that you have come to in each other's hearts. Joe and Nancy want to welcome you to the celebration of their love for one another. Each of you holds a special place in their hearts and your love and encouragement has positively impacted their lives. Thank you for sharing one of life's happiest moments with them. May you be as an important part of their tomorrow as you are of their todays. Nancy and Joe, as you are surrounded by your family and friends, we are also joined here today by our loved ones who watch over us from above, especially Nancy's father, Stanley, who passed in 2005. For all those who knew Nancy's dad, I am sure that they can picture him with his larger-than-life Damon Runyon personality. Stanley would have thoroughly enjoyed watching his daughter marry Joe, whom he had struck up a nice relationship with. And of course, he would have loved to sit back and amiably tell his stories at dinner that you will soon enjoy. Joe and Nancy, know that Stanley is with you today and will be with you all the days of your life together. The Art of Marriage by Winifred Peterson. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, it is the little things that are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry, and it is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all your years. It is having a mutual sense of value and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but with a spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility and patience, understanding and a sense of humor. And it is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. And it is giving each other the atmosphere in which one can grow and finding room for things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. And it is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal the obligation reciprocal, and it is not only marrying the right partner, but being the right partner, and it is discovering what marriage can be at its best. Fourteen years ago today, Nancy and Joe had their first date. It was an amazing marathon date, which began at the Seaport Diner for a late breakfast. And since she was having a great time, she kept suggesting other things for them to do. And with each suggestion, Joe would respond, I don't care. <laughs> to which Nancy had chosen to interpret as, sure, which she still does today. Their date continued through dinner time with periodic calls from Kenny <laughs> to find out how it was going. And the night ended with Nancy inviting Joe to see her condo. Once inside, they set up, set up a hammock in the living room since Nancy had yet to acquire much furniture. And despite what Kenny believes, they only shared a kiss that day. As many of you know, the infamous first kiss took place on the hammock, which earned Joe the nickname the Hammock Man amongst Nancy's friends. And if you think about it, the hammock is a perfect symbol to represent Joe and Nancy's relationship. It is relaxing. When they are with each other, they admit they can be 100% who they are with the assurance that they will be fully loved and supported. A hammock is also supportive. Nancy and Joe support one another through respectful communication, their wants and their needs, knowing their partner will not only listen but will work to make changes to better the relationship. As everyone knows, 
A hammock easily sways back and forth and moves with the changing environment. And in their relationship, Joe and Nancy will make changes in their daily plans to accommodate the other. Sometimes this means that Nancy will travel by rail car so Joe does not have to fly. And other times it means that Joe will drive home without complaining because Nancy's not sure if she locked her car door. <laughs> At its core, a hammock is one of life's simple pleasures. It is the little things like laying in a hammock and going for a walk, riding bikes, or enjoying a restful day at the beach together that has made the last 14 years so enjoyable for Joe and Nancy. Those last 14 years has brought you to this day. Now you are adding another chapter in your love story. Joe and Nancy have said that through marriage they are saying to the world and to each other, I want to spend my life with you, to have you as my love and my friend and my confidant and my partner, but most importantly, I'm saying how much I love you. <clears throat> Joseph, Janari, do you take Nancy A. Winkler as your wife? Do you promise to love and cherish her, to grow with her, and to have faith in your journey together? Through the changes that will come, do you promise to share your life and all that you are with her? Nancy A. Winkler, do you take Joseph Janari as your husband? Do you promise to love and to cherish him, to grow with him, and to have faith in your journey together throughout the changes that will come? And do you promise to share your life and all that you are with him? Joe, please repeat after me. Nancy, you are my best friend for life. I pledge to honor, to encourage, and to support you through our walk together. When our way becomes difficult, I promise to stand by you and uplift you so that through our union, we can accomplish more than we could alone. I promise to work at our love and to always make you a priority. With every beat of my heart, I will love you. Nancy, please repeat after me. Joe, you are my best friend for life. I pledge to honor you, to encourage you, and to support you on our walk together. When our way becomes difficult, I promise to stand by you and uplift you so that through our union, we can accomplish more than we ever could alone. I promise to work at our love and to always make you a priority. With every beat of my heart, I will love you. The wedding ring is a symbol of an unbroken circle of love. For love freely given has no beginning and no end. And once these rings are given and received, they seal the promise that you have made with one another. May these rings always be a loving reminder of the ties that bind you together as husband and wife. This ring I give you is a token of my love and devotion. And with my heart, I pledge to you all that I am, and just as this band encircles your finger, may you always feel encircled by my love. This ring I give you is a token of my love and devotion, and with my heart, I pledge to you all that I am. And just as this band encircles your finger, may you always feel 
encircled by my love. Nancy and Joe have chosen to express their love through the penguin perfect, sorry, through the perfect pe pebble penguin unity ceremony. It's a tongue twister. The penguin is one of the most romantic creatures on earth. And when the male penguin has found his mate, he will search the beach for the perfect pebble. And once he has discovered it, he lays the pebble at the feet of his beloved. And if she accepts it, she will become his partner for life. The penguin's romance goes beyond this simple yet beautiful gesture. Penguins rely on their mates for support, fun, and enjoyment. And surprisingly, penguins even smile, especially when they are in love. Nancy, Joe has gone out and found the perfect pebble for you. It is. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> May it serve as a reminder for the both of you to keep your love simple like the penguins and to always find comfort, comfort and happiness in this partner that you have chosen for life. Yeah. Is it to you? You're welcome. <laughs> Joe and Nancy, as you continue your journey together, I ask you to remember this advice. The key to love is understanding, as it is the little things that say so much by themselves. The key to love is forgiving, to accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes. The key to love is sharing, sharing your good fortune as well as your bad together. And the key to love is giving, giving without the thought of return, but with the hope of just a simple smile and by giving in and never giving up. And with this promise and declaration of love, it is my pleasure, through in accordance with the laws of New York and by the virtue authority vested in me by the state of New York, to now pronounce you Husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. Yay! Ah, oh, that is beautiful. Don't stop. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> That is beautiful.